years in the gender world. Men seem to be more fortunate than the women in today's world because of the society we live in. And events like this or days like this remind us that we still have work to do, especially when it comes to health, especially when it comes to governance. We have so much work to do in creating awareness, in ensuring that women can have at least 50-50 are able to sit on the table and are represented in the situation that affects us. It's a very perfect thing for some of the time like this, breaking the bias, breaking the glass ceiling, because um, all the world all over we have seen and we have heard women doing great things, even in areas where we think that things cannot happen, especially in technology, engineering and sciences. And um, breaking the bias, it's a very perfect thing. And um, I look forward to seeing more women breaking the bias, really, not just for the team, but in reality. This very act has a great setback on the women folk in Nadamawa state, particularly in agriculture. The fact that women are the producers of uh, food in Nigeria we, they are not known because they are not seen to be doing so, because they have no power uh, to move out so that they can be interviewed like I'm being interviewed now. I think that um, the recognition that despite our progresses, we have a bit of a way to go. We tried to propose as women some things in Nigeria and we failed on March 1st. I think it's important to see just how deep the bias runs and I think it's important to recognize the contributions that Nigerian women have made in this country.